Today I wanted to talk about why composting is so easy and just kind of get to the basics of it. So I came over to Ashley's house. We coach swimming together. I'm like her assistant. He's my boss. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so there's lots of different techniques that people use for home composting. I think this is a pretty common one. It's basically a plastic bin and then inside you can put your food scraps, your greens, and then you can add extra things like, like Ashley will add leaves and stuff to it to give it that carbon nitrogen mix that, that's right. But here's the deal. Anything you put on the ground that's organic in nature, whether that's leaves or a bunch of food scraps, is gonna break down. What we're talking about here is the decomposition process. So fungi and bacteria and worms and things are gonna start breaking this down. When people talk about having a good compost pile, essentially they're talking about trying to speed up that decomposition process. Okay, so I think a lot of the reason people have compost, and you correct me if I'm wrong here, is one, they wanna have extra soil and uh, natural fertilizer to put on their garden beds, and two, maybe they wanna have good karma points for not knowing they're not putting things into the, the landfills that doesn't need to be there. We have a lot of table scraps. We have five people in our household. Uh -huh. we, have, we go through a lot yeah, of produce. A lot of them are very little people. Yes, but they eat a lot. Okay. We have a garden, we grow vegetables, we grow tomatoes. This is a really good nutrient rich uh, fertilizer for all those plants. Well, a lot of it is that we want to do something good for the environment. I mean, you know, we want to do what we can to reduce, reuse and recycle. And this is just one of those ways. Now, how much of a hassle would you say it is? None, you know, a lot none. of people don't want to do it because it feels like a hassle. It's none at all. And I can actually show you our little composter that we have in the kitchen. It's about this tall and it sits on the counter. They just throw it in there and then when it gets full, I usually send John out here because <laughs> we all have our jobs in the house and right. he comes out here and throws it in there. The basics are really easy. I think what can feel complicated about the whole process is when you start troubleshooting, like why is my compost pile not breaking down or why is it stinky why is it gooey and oozy that's where the science is very helpful most people are going to want a 30 to 1 carbon to nitrogen ratio in their compost pile that's going to speed up the decomposition process all of the bacteria and fungi and actinomycetes that are in there trying to break things down they like that ratio if it's just carbon then it's going to be harder for things to break down quickly because you need that nitrogen uh, if it's too nitrogen heavy in other words, you got a lot of like wet, gooey green greens in there, then things are going to start to go anaerobic very quickly and it's going to start smelling. And at the same time, you could attract a lot of unwanted guests like flies and yes. barmen and stuff. And yes. so those are the things you don't want. That's why you want to try to get the ratio right. When we turn it, these little holes allow air to go in there. Right. So that's, the that's other. a great point. Yeah. So this is so easy to do. We don't have to use a shovel. We don't have to worry about it at all. This is one great example of a home compost bin that you can have in your backyard. And it's not going to smell if you do it right. So this video is not like most of the videos that we usually make, but I wanted to just do this very rough style just to show you how easy composting can be. If you want to see something more in the style that we usually do, we went to the North Carolina Zoo to see composting on a big scale. Um, you click up there, you can see it there. And we will see you in a future episode. Thank you.